Well, hey everybody, welcome back to Palm Tree Life. We are in a college sports Saturday. So let's start this new series with Florida Gulf Coast and get into some college basketball. Let's check it out. Well, we are starting a new series. This is a game that I have uh, put up on the channel in the past. Um, the new, uh, their new updated game for 2022 has come out. I think it came out last month. Uh, so I wanted to get another series started up here and uh, wanted to start off. I am using a mod. I'll try to add the mod into the description below. Uh, thank you. I can't remember exactly who the guy was or person was that uh, put the, the mod together, but thank you so much for doing it so that we can have the real team names uh, and some of the likenesses and all of that on here. So I appreciate that. So uh, make sure if you are playing this game and you want this, check out the mod. It So far, everything that I've done with it, it's worked really well. So I'm looking forward to it. And we're going to go with Florida Gulf Coast. Uh, we are starting off our series, starting off as a coach. We have low prestige. And so we had to pick a team with low prestige, kind of start from the bottom. Maybe we'll stay with Florida Gulf Coast for our career. Maybe we'll move on. We'll see how this series goes. Uh, but I wanted to get into a place with some palm trees, obviously. So uh, we are in Florida Gulf Coast. Now, in saying this, uh, you can see, you know, we're the Eagles. We're in Fort Myers, Myers Florida. Our arena capacity is 4,500. Uh, we have a starting budget of 151,000, which is actually pretty good. Um, we don't have a non-conference rival right now. We're going to leave that. Our facilities are a B minus, our academics are a C plus, our SAT minimum is 900. We have 70,000 remaining in our budget, and we're probably gonna go heavy on recruiting with that. Uh, that's where I tend to spend my money is in recruiting. If I, can, if I get to a season or a year where I can get better assistant coaches, maybe that switches, but we'll see. You can see our team colors here, our history, uh, I so in you can choose one of their the mods that were created where you can get all of the team history for every team. <clears throat> I chose to start without any history because I want I want the history in the game at least for this series to be what has happened in our series, not what has happened in the entire history of every team. So that's why I have that. Let's check out the coach I created. So we got Tim Palmtree up here as the head coach. He's 40 years old. He has no experience as a head coach. Uh, so no win-loss record, nothing here. He's getting 87000 per year, uh, zero career earnings. His reputation's poor because he's never coached before. Integrity, we have high integrity, average temper, temper average discipline, average academics, and very high ambition. So, I mean, we want to go places for sure. We want to accomplish things. We do have job goals of finishing in the top three of our conference. I'll show off the conference here in just a second. I think it's the Atlantic Sun. Uh, but we'll look at that in just a second. And then we have to win 10 plus games. So pretty much if we have a chance to schedule some poor opponents to get 10 plus games or 10 wins, we probably want to do that. I'm going to see if we can get into a preseason tournament, though. I think it would just be fun to do that. But we do need to finish top three of our conference. You can see here my player preference. I don't care if I have veterans. I don't want to be a coach where you have to be a veteran. I'll play the best player. I don't care how old you are. Player rotation, I tend to be in the middle on that. I don't mind playing bench players at all. Offensive pace a little bit faster. I don't care about offensively crashing the boards, but I do want a little bit higher defensive intensity, and I do want us crashing the boards on defense so that they don't get second shots. I don't care about full court defense. I don't care about zone defense. So that's all of that. Um, let's check out our roster. So on our roster, you can see we actually, we have some decent players here. Like Robbie Gates is pretty decent. We've got some decent talent here and definitely some uh, area for potential. Uh, we do have quite a few outside shooters. You can see like we're almost everybody is close to 70 and up, which is really, really good. Uh, so we can definitely shoot the outside shot, which will take you to, I think our strategy. Our strategy is five out. So if you want to know what a five out offense is, it's designed for teams with good perimeter players at all positions, which is us. Much of the time, the ball is behind the arc, allowing for many outside attempts, with the downside being very few offensive rebound chances, which we don't, we want offensive rebounds. We don't care about offensive rebounds as much as we care about 
uh, not allowing the other team to get offensive rebounds. All right, you can see our coaches here. We So you can do your settings if you haven't played this game before. You can do the settings of where your coach starts and then what is their top out. I did the top out as elite. You can get 100 on everything because I want us to be able to develop to become an elite coach. But I started us off, I think, at amateur. It was I think it was like 30. You could have 30 in each one in each category and then I moved it around so oh no it wasn't 30 maybe it's maybe it's 40 I don't know but I tended to move down our offensive defensive skills and scouting to get recruiting and player development because we're gonna we need better recruits and I need to maximize who they are so I focused on recruiting and player development not so much on the actual on the court stuff that's why I did that you can have pipeline progression. So if you get 10 recruits from a specific state, they become a pipeline state for you. And that follows you no matter where you go. You can be in Florida, you can keep going on. So if we focus on Florida, which will probably happen at Florida Gulf Coast, later on, uh, even if, if we had 10 here, it becomes a pipeline state. Even if we moved on to Texas or California or some other state, Ohio, doesn't really matter what state we went to, that stays as a pipeline state for us. Kevin Sutton. It, you can see here player development recruiting he's our best recruit outside of me he's our best recruiter so I'm keeping him focused on recruiting right there you can see assigned to recruiting and then just infer scouting's 21 recruiting and player development is 22 whereas Oren Bailey is all 21 so I might actually focus can I where do I change their focus I would like to have Justin Fur focused on practice just simply because he has that one extra point. Uh, that's what I want to have happen. Coaching assignments. There we go. So we want <clears throat> Kevin Sutton focused on recruiting. We want him focused on practice and him focused on scouting. It Scouting's not going to mat uh, matter a ton. We're, we're bad, and we're going to probably lose a lot of games. So it doesn't really matter at that point. Okay, let's look at the Atlantic Sun Conference. So we are in the East Division with Stetson, Jacksonville, Kennesaw State, North Florida, and the Liberty Flames. All right, and then you've got the Atlantic Sun Conference, which Lips, or West Division, which is Lipscomb, North Alabama, Eastern Kentucky, Jacksonville State, Central Arkansas, and Bellarmine. So um, we've got to finish in the top three. That is the goal here, finishing the top three. Uh, thankfully, we don't have to win our conference tournament or anything like that, but we do need to get the job done. All right, you can see our lineup here. We, I'm planning on actually controlling most of the games. Like We might simulate, but I wanted to get the main starters in here. So we got James as our starting point guard, Williams shooting guard, Franklin small forward, Gates and Felix power forward center. And then we mixed in a few. I kind of went on who's already good, and then when I bring people in who has potential for the future, I wanted to get them as many minutes as I could. So we'll see where it all goes. Uh, I am not too worried about kind of how this all plays out, and I forgot to put the center here, Felix, so we'll add in the center. But that is, um, that is our lineup. Let's check out our inbox. So the budget has been set for 151000 You will have two scholarships open for next year. Assistant coach scout salaries come off the top, leaving you with 70000 that you can spend on any recruits, tools, or activities you want. On screens where the budget is shown, you will be seeing your entire budget for the year, so plan carefully and don't spend it all at once. You can always check on your budget by going to the team info screen. Coach, just want to let you know that I'm in the preliminary stages of putting together our non-conference schedule for this season. If you have any putting on the type of schedule, you will feel free to talk to me by using the meetings icon at the top of the screen. Meetings icon. Meetings. Okay. Just do it before the end of August, please. Once the schedule is set, you will be able to make some changes to it, but this is your chance for the most input. So we'll check that out in a second. Well, Coach, it's time for another exciting season and we all know how important getting good recruits to your school is you don't want to be a step behind on all the recruits to you 
uh, well, you no longer have to be with our recruiting reports. There are seven different re reports you can purchase. We have one for each region, so and we're going to stick to the region. A national report that gives you the top 150 recruits. We are we don't even have a shot at the top 150, so we're not going to worry about that. And international, we don't have enough money to get them, so we're not going to focus on that either. Each report offers two levels of information. The basic report lists the prospects and whether or not your school is on their radar. And in the premium premium edition reports we rank and rate each player to help you waste less time in recruiting. I will probably go premium if we can afford it. Whether you select the basic or gold edition reports, we know this is information your team cannot be without, so please click the advanced button in the left menu to select the reports you wish to purchase. You can purchase as many as you like or none at all, but that is, a, is that a chance you're willing to ch take? Skip the summer looking to get to the right to the season. Uh, we're not. Recruiting class rankings. We're probably right there. 197th. All right. So there was 358. So we're right in the middle. And then welcome to college 2022. All right. Let's check out this meetings tab coach palm tree i'm working on the schedule for this year what kind of preference do you have in terms of where we play and the teams we play so we could do lots of cupcakes at home schedule good teams but try to get more home games a balanced schedule give us a tough road schedule let us play more on the road but don't make them too tough i kind of want to just make it easy lots of cupcakes at home honestly we need 10 plus wins and then the other one is all about our conference. So I kind of, I just want to get a lot of wins if possible. So let's do make it easy. Okay, I will do my best, but can't promise anything. So we have 70,600. We are in the Southeast Report right here. You see the orange lines up with Southeast Report. So our basic is going to cost 30,000. Or sorry, basic is 5,000. Premium is 30,000. We have 70,000. I, I'm going to take a chance to just go premium. I know that may seem dumb, but I want to know the most information I can. So we're going to go premium. If it means I can't get to, like most of our players are not going to be going to basketball camps and stuff either. So if that means I don't go to a basketball camp, I'm fine with that. Coach, with the summer camps rapidly approaching, we need to be able to book transportation and hotels for you. And your coaches, if you are planning on attending any of the summer camps, please click the advanced icon button above to confirm your travel plans. Also, be sure that before you go to the camps that you assign recruits to your watch list. If those recruits are at the camp, you will be notified afterwards and get extra scouting notes on them. All right, so we have $40,000. We can attend Memphis Hoop Summit for $3,700. That seems really cheap to try to see if any of our guys have a shot at something it, I don't Georgia's superstar camp like I just don't think it's not that much money I just don't think we're going to get next tier talent yet so it doesn't make sense to go there so we'll do the basic hoop summit for uh, locally for us and we're not going to attend a national camp, so we're going to save that money. All right, so we've got the Southeast region. View by premium report. Since we got the premium report, we want to view by it. And then we want to see, does it... Okay, so we've got six players with interest in us. Wow, with three and four stars. That's very interesting. Coach, I just want to let you know that I had an awesome time on my visit. I could definitely see myself on that campus. Talk to you soon. Jermaine Bolton. That's huge. National camps. Coach, it's time for the summer camps to begin. It kicks off with three national camps. If, you're ha if you've elected to travel to one of these camps, you'll see scouted ability grades when looking at the card of a recruit who was at the camp. And we didn't. But that one's big right there. He is warm on us. That is awesome. So we're already warm with him. We are going to focus on him a lot. All right. So North Florida has, he's got, they got Jermaine Bolton going warm on him. I'm going to offer him a scholarship right now. I know that we got, he, he can't necessarily sign or anything, but I'm going to go ahead and offer anyway. I want them, I want him loving us because he's probably the best we're going to get a shot at so we're gonna go ahead and lock that up 
So we offered Jermaine Bolton, and now he is hot. So he is red hot. Um, let's see, any updates? Knowledge, knowledge. He's a hardworking kid. He's primarily a jump shooter, which doesn't bother us. Our offense is built on that. Uh, he spends the majority of his time on offense looking for jumpers. That's exactly why we like him. <laughs> that, is, that is why we like him. All right. Coach, the Southeast Regional Camp begins today. If you have selected to travel to one of these camps, you will see scouted ability grades when looking at the card of recruit who is at that camp. To run this camp, click the advanced button in the left side menu. All right, and we should have a recruit at this one. Our, our dude should be there. Ah, uh, none of the players from our watch list attended the Memphis Hoop Summit. That stinks. Marcus Carter. Coach, I just want to let you know that it was a cool visit. I like the campus and the people. It will be tough for me to make up my mind, but I'll let you know when I do. All right, so Mike Marcus Carter likes us. I added John Landry as well. John Landry says, I just want to let you know that I didn't think the visit was worthwhile. Nothing personal, but I think I'll look around some more before I make my decision. All right, so we're going to focus on Marcus Carter and Jermaine Bolton. All right, this is huge, Jermaine Bolton. We are number one. In fact, I mean, there isn't anybody else on his list. Whoops. You guys are number one on my list. Bam. What about Marcus Carter? We're not even in his top. Oh, no, we're number four. All right, we're number four. All right, so we can visit him. He said facilities was important and location was important, Fort Lauderdale. So let's, let's check our facilities again, school info. So these is a B minus for the level that we are. That's really good. So we are going to visit him and we're going to go facilities. We're going to watch film. We're going to go facilities. We're going to go visit recruit. Coach, I just want to let you know that I've made my decision. I've chosen your school. I look forward to playing for you in the near future. Yes, we got Jermaine Bolton. I wanted to let you know that you really impressed us when you came to visit. You'll definitely be hearing from me soon. Hope to be on court with you next season. What about Marcus Carter? Just want to let you know that you really impressed us when you came to visit. You'll definitely be hearing from me soon. Hope to be on the court with you next season. All right. So we, we may have gotten Marcus Carter and Jermaine Bolton, which is massive. Well, let's check that out. Hot. We are number one on him. Yes. All right. So we may have gotten two outstanding dudes here. Oh, he already signed with us. Awesome. Let's check out our schedule. So we're playing... Dixie State, Drake, Southeast Missouri State. How do we know if they're... Okay, asterisk equals conference. Okay. So right here. So Little Rock, Boston, Utah Valley, Holy Cross, High Point, UNC Greenboro, Tulane, Maryland East Shore, Farley Dickinson, Brown, Colgate, Southeast Missouri State, Drake, and Dixie State. So hopefully some easy games, <laughs> especially in the non-conference. So one, two... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 non-conference games. So we'll see what we can pull off here. So just to show our conference recruiting ranks, we are in first right now because we're the only one with a commit. Uh, we got a one-star guy, 2.7 points. Uh, we'll take it, honestly. Marcus Carter's decision. Coach, I just want to let you know that I've made my decision. I've chosen your school. I look forward to playing for you in the near future. Bam! We got both guys we went after. That is awesome right there. Florida Atlantic got Brant Cunningham. No no matter uh, no wonder he didn't care about us. South Florida got Ike Williams. No wonder he didn't care about us. Florida International. So lots of Florida guys, but we got our guys. That's right. Just to show the rankings here, right now we're still in second. Kennesaw State was able to get a two-star guy, though, with three commits. So little bit behind them but hey we'll see what we can do over time it's not all about what they are when you get them sometimes it's what you can develop after you get them so we'll see what happens with all of that 
All right, we got a weekly incident report. Coach, I know you have so much to do in running the team that sometimes you're not aware of the little things. I thought I would take a few minutes to bring to your attention some things from this week of practices. Rob Graves took a hard foul from Matt Edwards and got up and shoved him back. Alan Arden made some kind of rude comment about Robbie Gates' girlfriend. Cedric Felix shoved Roy Millsap after a play and went to retaliate, but the team broke it up, and Matt Edwards refused to pass the ball to Jackie Williams because of an argument. Okay. Red shirt reminder. Coach, just a quick reminder that this is your last chance to redshirt players for the season. To redshirt a player, go to your team roster. I think I might redshirt Jared Reed. He's got a lot of potential here. All right, our first opponent, Dixie State. They run a fast-paced offense and allow their players a significant amount of offensive freedom outside of their sets. In the half court, they sport a balanced attack with their primary set being the motion offense. They rarely press. They play man-to-man. -man. And they would go with full court man-to-man. -man. Let's look at their roster. All right, so Curtis Gaines is a great shooter as well as Jonathan Joseph. So those two really good, and then Jabari Banks. Then from there, it kind of, they kind of get worse than us. I would say Jabari Banks is probably their primary scorer. Let's make sure. Yeah, Jabari Banks and Manny Greer. Probably their two guys. All right, we're in our opening game. And we know that Gaines, let's see, what did I write down here? Banks, Greer, Gaines, and Joseph are their big ones. Banks and Gaines are starting. So Greer and Joseph are in here. So we'll see how it goes. We may have to switch up who's guarding who, depending on how this is going. I'm fine with all of that. Um, offensive. Your offensive options. We are going to run five out. We're going to favor outside. Defensive options. We're going to run man to man. And I don't want to do any of those, but I guess we'll leave it as that because I can't do anything else. We'll bring full court way down. All right, let's get into it. Okay. We did not start off with the five that I wanted to start off with. I don't know why Maynard Moore started. I wanted Franklin. I'm not sure why that happened. Whoop, don't want that. Come on. Gaines Felix. And I wanted James. There we go, James and Williams to switch. Okay, now we look right. I don't know why that did that, but. All right. Uh, gave up a jump shot. They missed the end one though. given up and ones and offensive rebounds. All right, let's 
get it into. I turned off the sound to the game so I could actually talk because uh, it was definitely drowning me out. Robbie Gates with another shot. That's good. We're winning by one foul. They're up by two. They're up by one now. Robbie Gates has two fouls, so we're gonna have to be pretty careful with this. May have to turn down the defensive intensity depending on how that goes. They get the rebound. myself up just so you guys can see the stats a little bit better here all right got a rebound Robbie Yates is having a really good game six points three rebounds right now four rebounds all right Tied it up. Passing it around. Shot. What was that? We missed as a three point shot, but it must have gone out on them or something. No, it didn't. They turn the ball over, defensive foul. All right, we need to look at subs. I am gonna turn the pause at all stops back on because it's hard to get the subs in if you don't do that. Wow, and my guys are so crazy uh, tired. So we need alt off to go in and Millsap. So Millsap will go in for Felix. Okay, we're going to have to uh, call timeout. Now let's sub. There we go. We're desperate. <laughs> desperate for... Alright, so we'll put Edwards in. At point guard... Cotton at shooting guard. Oh. Cotton at shooting guard. Who do I want? More at small forward. Okay. Subs are in. Here we go. I'm going to try to turn the game sounds back on and just keep it as low as I can so that I can talk over it. Turn, turn my headset down a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> Defensive foul. All right. Good job, Altoff. Offensive rebound. Millsap with an inside layup or dunk. Uh, turnover. That's not good. Good 
shot bolt off. We got to shut them down, though. Greg Cooper is killing us. All right. We missed, but we got the foul. Let's see. Your guys aren't quite ready to come back in yet. We'll give them a little bit more. Good job, Maynard. Nice rebound. Hmm. All right, got another foul on them. Are they recovered yet? No, not really. All right, we'll take another foul. I'm gonna. Or no, it was a turnover. No, he threw the ball away. Shoot it. Uh, you gotta shoot it. Okay, we're gonna have to bring these guys back in, even if it's for just a quick spell, just because they're better. Um, we'll let more stay out there. We gotta bring Felix back in. We'll let Altoff stay a little bit, and then we can bring in our starter again and I'm going to speed the game up a little bit here. Let's see if that goes any better for us. Basket and the foul on Altoff. Uh, turnover. All right. A little too fast. Dead ball, defensive foul on Maynard. All right, so we'll put Robbie Gates back in. And we'll put, where's my small forward, Franklin back in. And I really need to put Millsap back in because they are exhausted. Let's try, who else could I put at center? We're just going to have to, I need to give him a little bit of a spell. So we're going to have to go Morrison simply to give a spell. I hate that I have to do that, but I messed up the subbing at early in the game. Goodness, guys, quit fouling. Let's, let's bring down our intensity a little bit. Maybe that'll help. Good job, Jackie Williams. Another foul. Um, oh, timeout. All right. Let's bring in. Uh, I got a quick, quick kick and clicking on their names and just click on the side of it there. Um, Franklin's in. Let's do Cotton. Then I can bring in him at point guard if I need to. Turnover. Dead ball. Goodness.
We are not playing well right now. Defensive foul on Cotton. All right, let's bring in Edwards. Let's bring in Maynard Moore. Actually, we should be okay there. Let's bring in Phil Felix and uh, Althoff. And then Cooper has scored a ton on us, so we're going to have to double team him. Goodness. Turn the ball over again. <laughs> Too many turnovers. We have 10 turnovers. They have three. That's not good. It's a good thing we can shoot free throws. All right, good steal. Nice. Making a little bit of a comeback here. Timeout. All right, let's get Jackie Williams back in. Let's get James back in. We'll play more. Get Millsap with Robbie Gates. We actually probably need to play Morrison a little bit just to give a breather. Okay. They stole it for a dunk. Jabari Banks is called for a foul. That's good. Good job, Desmond. Ah. Kick the ball. Let's get Robbie Gates in for Morrison. Last two minutes. Defensive foul on Robbie Gates. Let's get him out of there. I probably shouldn't have played him so close to the half simply because it's it is it was close. I could have let him just sit. Oh my word. <laughs> Rebound and miss. Good job, Maynard Moore. All right. So losing at halftime, 45 to 34. We're just getting killed everywhere right now. Uh, who's our points guy? So Gates is getting us the most points. It's pretty even across the board, though. Shooting threes were okay, but on their side, Cooper and Gaines are just killing us, and Greer is not much worse. So hopefully we can do a lot better. All right, turnover. Maybe we can get them some turnovers now.
job, Jackie. We got to quit turning the ball over. Defensive foul on Felix. That's two on him. Let's get Millsap in. And then we'll put Franklin in with him. We're not out of this game yet. Good job, Millsap. Right back in it. They missed. Edwards and Cotton and uh, Althoff. Bring in the rest of the subs. Let's hope they can keep this comeback going. Good job, Millsap. Uh, John Cotton, personal foul. We're within three. Well, four. Good job, Altov. We good. We're still good there. We'll give a little bit more. We'll give about another possession. Good job, Millsap. These guys are playing well right now. Dead ball. So he missed. Okay. Now let's bring our starters back in. They, that Those guys did great. Uh, Felix and Robbie Gaines. They really did good. They brought us all the way back. We got to win our home opener. Got to win this thing. Uh, dead ball. Steve James turned it over again. 13 turnovers. Uh, all right. Good job, Steve James. Got the seven. Nice steal. Ah, couldn't get ahead. Let's pull ahead, guys. Yes! Good job, Franklin. Oh, they missed an easy one. Oh, don't miss the gimme. Don't miss the gimme. Oh, no. All right, we're staying in it. All right, defensive rebound. Timeout. All right, we got to put... We definitely have to switch our guys back up here. Cotton, Edwards, power forward. It's Altoff and Millsap. All right. We haven't gotten Arden in at all. Or Graves. Or Mydra. No. Oh, well. Good job, all top. Man, that guy has been huge this game. Ugh. Good job, Gaines. Or no, that wasn't Gaines. That was all top again. John Cotton. We're pulling away. Kicked ball. We'll go another possession round. Dead ball out of bounds. How we doing? Still doing good. Looks like it. Yeah, we'll we'll keep these guys in. They're doing they're doing well. Good job, Millsap. Ah, would have been nice to pull up. 
get ahead another basket here. Okay. Still all right everywhere. We'll, we'll let them, we'll try to go in under seven, around the six minute mark if we can make it that long. Oh, come on, Alta, make a free throw. Thank you. Good job. Maynard Moore. We're pulling away now. Oh, we stole it again. Good job, guys. All right, let's get Williams and James back in there. Get Felix. We're going to go Desmond Morrison first. Uh, he must be shooting. Uh, more, we'll put Franklin in. Now, we'll put Desmond Morrison in. Up by nine. Nine with seven and a half to go. Man, we are pulling away like crazy now. I didn't think we were going to get this early in this game. I know it's not over yet, but wow. Felix with another foul. It's three. Ah, oh, get the rebound. Called for a charge. We cannot let them back in. All right, Felix is having a rough go. So let's get Millsap back in here, and we'll put Robbie Gates over here. I like the rest of them. They're fine. We'll put more back in with the other guys. Yeah. Good steal. Uh, all right. Offensive foul. No, 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 no. We don't want defensive foul. There we go. Defensive foul. I wonder if they're intentionally fouling at this point. Basket in foul. Good job, Jackie. Use up the clock. Use up the clock. Three minutes left. All right, let's go alt off. We'll put Morrison, Edwards, Moore, and for shooting guard. We'll see what Arden can do. He hasn't played yet. Is he one of the walk-ons? No, he is not a walk-on. Yeah, he's a scholarship guy as a freshman, so we'll see what he can do. Is Mydra a walk-on? Yep, he's a walk-on. Rob Graves isn't either, so... Probably need to try to get Rob Graves in at some point. He's a sophomore. All right. Good job, Arden. Defensive foul on Morrison. Another turnover. Man, Alan Arden. He's playing well. Offensive foul. <laughs> 
on alt off. Okay. Let's stall. I don't know if that was stall or not. All right, let's get uh, Graves in. Yeah, everybody else has played. Yeah, we're good. Came back and won that sucker. I thought for sure that early on in this game we were done. But we got a win in our home opener. I'll take that every time. So let's see who did well here. Got Williams, did pretty well. Moore got six rebounds, Gates got five. James had five assists and two steals, that's pretty good. He did have four turnovers. He is a shooting guard naturally, but he is our best ball handler as well. So Cotton got three steals, nice assists. So James let her team assists. Altoff, Millsap, and more tied in rebounds. Wow, Gates had four blocks. <laughs> That's impressive. Altoff was a plus 15. That was huge. Greer, when he went in, I mean, right here, he may have gotten 13 points, but we outscored them terribly when he was in. So, all cool stuff. Well, we have played the non-conference schedule. And I wanted to run down kind of what happened. You, you guys saw the Dixie State Trailblazers game where we won. Well, the very next game, we went to Drake and lost in overtime by one. Um, and so we are sitting at 9-5, and five, so we haven't gotten our 10 wins this season. But I'm feeling pretty confident when we got 9 in the uh, non-conference. I'm pretty confident we can get one more down in our conference. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about that. If you can see here the high points here, Altoff, I did not kind of anticipate him, but he has been a monster, and he, he's been coming off the bench. We actually had a few injuries um, in some of these later games, and he had to start, and he didn't do as well. So I think he is like one of those instant offense guys off the bench, and something else that teams have done to us, like you can see three out of the last five we've lost, Little Rock was just, they were stinking good. Like, <laughs> they were so good, and so was Boston. Or no, we, we beat Boston. Who was the other team that was just really, really good? High Point, High Point dominated us. Um, Farley Dickinson, all these teams. Farley Dickinson, High Point, um, Holy Cross and Utah Valley did too. They played zone, and we really struggled with zone. Uh, so that's going to have to be something that we watch kind of going into our conferences. If they play zone against us, we're going to spend, spend more practice time on zone. Um, so that's where we're sitting right now. We've been doing pretty good. Let's check our insights. So we're getting 75 points per game, which is 63rd in the nation out of like 360 teams. That's pretty good. Assists per game, we really do pass the ball around. Uh, rebounds, we're not... We're actually, you know, that's we're pretty low there. Points allowed a game, we're much lower. So we do good at scoring. We don't do so good at stopping them. Uh, blocks and steals, field goal percentage, we are ninth in the nation. I mean, we can shoot the ball. Like, we saw that. We have jump shooters that are 80 and above all over the place. But, our, I mean, we, we are 50% uh, field. In the games that we lost, we were... 30 or less it was really bad three point percentage is not as good um 
but you can't hit everything, I guess. Um, free throw percentage, we're terrible. Uh, we cannot stay in games. Like, if they can hit their free throws, we can't, and it does hurt us. Our offensive rating is 130th. Defensive rating 67th. We're not terrible on defense in the net rating. So you can see offensive rating leader, Illinois. Defense rating leader, Oklahoma. Net rating leader, Ohio State. So uh, Northwestern State Demons are leading in points per game. Kansas, Duke, in rebounds per game. Points allowed per game is Kansas State. Blocks per game, Duke Blue Devils. So steals per game is BYU. That's interesting. So a lot of good stuff there. Let's see the standings here. Uh, so we are first with 9-5. and five. Jacksonville State and Central Arkansas both have 9 or and or 10 wins. Uh, so we're up there. Like We have a shot of finishing in the top three if this plays out like I hope it is. If you want to see the polls in media right now, Duke is number one pretty much everywhere except for the net ratings. So the net ratings is like the RPI. It's basically the RPI rating, and we were in the 90 area. Let's see if we're still in here somewhere. I'll look at it. Here we are, 110. We dropped after that last game because we did get beat pretty soundly. But we're 110th, which puts us, if we don't win our conference, it puts us kind of in that third or fourth tier, not quite NIT. We'll finish kind of in that third or fourth tournament, hopefully. But you can see, here's your top 25. So if you find your favorite team or uh, a team that you just want to pay attention to. And I would say, if you want to see more of these games, like actually, I play all of them. I don't simulate them. I play all of them, but it, it can take, like if you actually want to see what's happening, it can take 20, 30 minutes to go through a game and so if you want to watch them all i will play more games i probably won't do them all but i will i will do more games and if you don't care and you would just rather see one here or there that's exciting uh i'll do it that way as well and have purpose and reason behind it recruiting classes let's see where we all sit oh we got that's not what there we go recruiting rankings that's what i wanted to see so bellarmine just simply because they have four jacksonville state got a three star that's good job, Jacksonville State. And then we got our two one-star guys still. Uh, anything else? Let's look at stats. So our Chad Altoff is leading our team in scoring. And then Maynard Moore, who's our starting small forward, actually. Steve James is our starting point guard. And Williams is our starting off guard, Franklin has been our backup small forward so Robbie Gates was our starting power forward he has been hurt is he still hurt nope he's not hurt anymore that's good we needed him to get healthy he got hurt Alan Arden was hurt for a little bit and then somebody else got hurt for just a little bit I don't remember who it was assists Stephen James is getting four assists a game that's good he's getting two turnovers a game which isn't good but that's actually come down. He was turning the ball over a lot. Blocks. Cedric Felix is getting a block a game. Steals. Jackie Williams, Stephen James getting a steal a game. Total rebounds. So Manor Moore is getting the most rebounds for us too. That's good. Anything else? Uh, here's some interesting stats, so miscellaneous stats. So this DRVS, just to show you on this, DRVS is drive stops and drives face, so it's percentage of drives stopped. So when you look at this, Robbie Gates, really good at stopping drives. Althoff, really good at stopping drives. Now they're big men, so that would make sense, but here you got Stephen James, 880 percentage. And he plays, you know, he has to stop the drives. Alan Arden's really good at it, too. And he's been a, a kind of a surprising guy. When you look at it, his rating and potential rating, not great. Uh, but he does stop. Like, you can tell when he's on the floor on defense. And it's interesting because it doesn't look like, I mean, maybe because he's got high discipline and high higher court IQ and athleticism. Because when you look at his defense... It, I mean, you wouldn't see that, but he does do really well with um, stopping the drives. So, very interesting.
League leaders, do we have anybody leading? We don't. We don't have anybody leading anything right now. Uh, Jacksonville State has quite a few, so they look like the team that we're going to have to beat here. They look like the, the team that's supposed to come out of our conference, so we will have to pay attention to that. I did want to see where was is it dashboard? I wanted to see. I found the net rank. Let me see if I can find it. All right, so our team sheet. So this is kind of the, once again, it says net quadrants. This is basically our, the RPI. So you can see Drake is a, we were away. So they're, they're in the top 75 and we almost beat them, which would have really helped our net rating. But here, high points, the only one in that second quadrant that's beaten us. We beat two. And then here, Utah Valley beat us. That's stinking. They were, they were tough. And the Maryland East Shore we beat. And then here you can see we have the last one, and we've lost too many. Little Rock is not that good, but, man, did they play really well. They are, they are a good team, so I don't know how they're so far down in net rating because they were good. Uh, so uh, that that's kind of the quadrants and what looks like on our team sheet. So that is how everything's looking right now. We will get into our conference play this next time. I hope you're enjoying this playthrough. Once again, give me feedback. If you want to see more games I'll, in the conference uh, schedule, I'll try to at least show every single team in our conference, us play them one time. So I think we play everybody twice. So that would be like, I don't know if I, well, maybe not everybody, everybody on our side. So let me let me show, let's just look at the standings. So what I was thinking is uh, one, two, three, four. So I would show these five teams here, us play against them. I don't know if I'm gonna show these other, uh, showing 11, that would be a really long video. Uh, and I'm trying to keep it under an hour. But if you wanna see more, I'll show more. It's up to you, give me feedback and I will listen to it and do my best with it. Uh, but having said all that, hope you enjoyed this college basketball Saturday. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you next time.